Gravenstein Castle was built as an island fortress in 1180 and modeled after the Crusader castles of the Holy Land. Now, Gravenstein in Dutch means Stone of the Counts, and this was built by the Counts for the specific purpose of instilling fear and awe in rebellious Ghents. Its walls are six feet thick, and it's filled with numerous underground chambers and dungeons. Well, the Flanders Sports Arena, not quite the edifice as the Gravenstein Castle, but it will do for gymnastics, the World Championships. There is Katie Heenan, a team bronze medalist for the United States, hoping for an individual medal. Let's go back to the ball final. Svetlana Horkina, who's had trouble on this event, hit two in a row, Bart. Hard to believe she nailed two vaults. And all is right with the world and Horkina. When she can become the world vaulting champion, I would have never thought I would have seen that. Now the 26-year-old mother of two, Oksana Chusovitina, got up to get the silver. Big surprise here. Fantastic. She's from Uzbekistan, and they don't even have one of those vaulting tables in their home country. She only gets to vault on it when she comes to the world championships. Yeah, vault number two setting her up for a 9-3-4-9. She gets the silver. Orkina, Chusovitana, and Radukan in the vault final. So now we're ready for the uneven bars. Katie Heenan for the United States. Can she hit? and perhaps win a medal. Oh, a little crooked there. On that first pirouette, she kept it going. I really like her form and technique. Come on, Katie. Beautiful. Shoot to the lower bar, catching right in the handstand. Now here's a young lady who has a staph infection, and it's caused her hands to be blistered Hard to hold on to the bar, and she manages to deliver a routine like that. So Heenan, a 9-2-1-2. A good score for her. That puts her in medal contention. Of course, a woman always in medal contention. Uh, Svetlana Horkina. This has been her event. She has just dominated. And there's just really no more you can say about her on the bars. The originality, the combinations, the style, the risk. I mean, it's all there. The only time she doesn't win the bars is when she falls. And to be honest, in the last seven years, that has happened only rarely. Oh, yeah. Just put it in the bag. Working on 9 4 3 7. Now, Katie Heenan in third place. She has to wait. Two performers to go. The Russian Yashova fell. And then it was up to Jackie Dunn on this performance. And Dunn fell. And that gave Katie Heenan a bronze medal. Difficult way to win it, but she performed well. She earned it. So Katie Heenan, individual apparatus, bronze medalist. Orkina gets the gold. Rensky and Dell gets the silver. We've got more to come here in Ghent a little bit later. The men's apparatus final. One more chance for Sean Townsend. The famous Romanian Nadia Comaneci recently had her 40th birthday party at Bart Connor. Tell us about it. Oh, we had a good time. A three day party in Las Vegas with 150 of our friends. Happy birthday, Nadia. And a woman who idolized Nadia as a youngster and still does, Andrea Radu Khan. She's waiting to go on beam, but let's show you some of the highlights of what's happened previously. American Tasha Schweiker, she's performed well. And she had a terrifically consistent competition on the beam, scoring in that 9-3 to 9-4 range on all of her exercises at these world championships. A great experience for her. Not quite enough to finish in the medals. But I expect she has some great days to come. Improving quickly. Then Ludmila Yeshova, the Russian. She's just a master on this event with really original combinations and skills. Very polished performance throughout. And that polished performance put her in the lead for the goal. 
And now, Romania's Andrea Raducan. She was the silver medalist at the 99 World Championships in China. Important combination for her right away. It's a back handspring to a backflip with a full twist. She's been very consistent on this all week long. Ooh. Talked about not being in her best condition, coming back from the knee injury. Her endurance was lacking, but on the balance beam, she looks calm and comfortable. Wow, beautiful combination. The judges are looking for combinations like that of dance and acrobatic elements combined. Such polish. Here's the dismount, two back handsprings. Do a double somersault. In pike position. Okay, Beautiful. one little step. Andrea Radican winning the gold on the balance beam. Now let's go over to the floor exercise where Radican has a chance to win another gold medal. Score to beat, nine, four, eight, seven. Hippolito. Beautiful triple twist in the second pass. The important pass is the third tumbling run coming up. This is the one that she botched earlier in the competition. This is the one, should be two and a half twister to a punch front somersault. Oh, she made it. The gold could be hers. Solid landing. A 9-5-5-0. And that got Andrea Radican the gold. Radican wins beam and floor, horking up vault and bars. Coming up next, one final chance for Sean Townsend. Back at the 2001 World Gymnastics Championships, American Sean Townsend warming up for his uh, parallel bars final. But first, let's go back and show you what happened on some of the other finals. This was Vault, Marian Radulescu from Romania. And yes, the Romanians get another gold medal, 9668. Congratulations to Marian Radulescu. In the rings, it was a tightly contested event with Jordan Yovchev of Bulgaria finally delivering the performance that was enough to score more than Sylvester Cholani from Hungary, who has been dominating the event. Cholani, the reigning Olympic champion, but this time Yovchev was not to be denied. <laughs> Drilled his landing and scored enough to finally win the gold. And the pommel horse was a tightly contested event as well. Marius Orzika, the reigning Olympic champion, had to be at his best. Scored a 
to defeat an incredible challenger from China named Xiao Qin, who scored a 9-7-7-5. Urzika was spectacular under tremendous pressure to deliver that performance. So Romania got another goal, this time on the pommel horse. And another terrific battle on the men's high bar competition. Young 18-year-old Vlasios Maras beat them all with a spectacular routine, great technique, and excellent form, and a big finish. The young 18-year-old bodes well for the Greek chances of winning medals at the upcoming 2004 Olympics in Athens. They call this guy Mr. Bronze because Jordan Yovchev of Bulgaria has won so many bronze medals in his career, but at these world championships, it was finally his time for gold. After winning the gold on the rings, he also won another gold on the floor exercise with his trademark pommel horse work on the floor an impeccable form. He was due. He had to share the gold on the floor, however, with Marian Dragulescu of Romania, who was probably a more spectacular tumbler, but he was a little off in some of his tumbling elements. Not quite as clean as Jovchev, but he went for a big double twisting double back at the end of the routine. Still good enough to share the gold with Jovchev. So now, one final apparatus to go. Sean Townsend from the United States going for the gold. He's got the routine to do it. I love his aggressive attitude. Had a chance to win the gold in the all-around final. What a heartbreaking moment that was on the high bar. Watch how quick he is. Watch this combination here. Under bar, right to the handstand, and another double back. So assertive and confident. Here's the dismount. Oh, yeah. That might do it. Sean Townsend. High level of difficulty, smooth execution throughout. John Townsend, yes, a 9-7 goal for the American, finally. And congratulations there from his coach, Kevin Majika. Big moment for the Americans and Sean Townsend. And an emotional one, too. Bart's with him backstage. Well, Sean, congratulations on a huge moment for you. And coming off of this week with the emotional roller coaster of the team medal and then the uh, unfortunate incident in the all around, uh, this has to feel especially sweet. It feels great. I mean, this is such redemption from what happened on all around finals. And I told myself that I won't let that happen again. And I was going to come out here and just do my best thing possible, which is P bars. And I wasn't going to be satisfied until I came on with a medal. And gold makes it even better. <laughs> Sean Townsend gets his chance and comes up with a goal. For Bart Connor, I'm Chris Marlowe. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.